Welcome back everyone, it's FNUSA57 here. I am back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One, and today I will be showing you the tips and tricks of trade bars, but uh, the video is actually going to be how to turn your trade bars into astral diamonds, and I'm going to cover several different ways to do that. So the item that we will be talking about is this item right here, Tarmaloon Trade Bars, and this video is going to cover a couple different things. It's going to cover kind of sustaining VIP with the rewards you get from opening boxes and making the money from trade bars or making astral diamonds with these trade bars because you always get trade bars usually with most of the boxes that you open there's always a few and you can get like a handful like five to up to you know a bunch so it'll vary and i got most of these opening that thousand lot of lock boxes now right now this is the best possible combination that you could get in order for the pricing, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you regardless of whether or not you have the best possible pricing. So the general thing that some of you might know, others may not. Uh, at the time I am showing you this, there is actually a promotion going on, which is the Trade Bar Store discount. It's 20% off. Then I pulled from the Jubilee uh, event a 25% off the trade bar store which for some reason does stack which is awesome now that is a limited time coupon so here it is normally what you would do go to the trade bar go down here to equipment go to legacy and underneath the dusk set you will see the orb of nightmare uh, this is for the control wizard but basically it's the main hand for the class and it is normally five trade bars now it salvages during double diamonds for just over 5,000 trade bars. It actually uh, salvages for about um, 5,500 with VIP level 7, 5,000 without VIP level 7. So over 1,000 diamonds per trade bar. Now because I have all the discounts, I can go ahead and buy these for only three trade bars a piece. That is pretty much one of the biggest go-to ways that people will turn their trade bars into diamonds because this is an item that is unbound. So it means you can put it in a guild storage bank. You can put it on the shared bank, personal bank, mail it to yourself, uh, give it to a friend to hold on to, whatever you want to do. You can stock up on these. So like you'll see, I just mail them to myself. And the issue is I don't really have a lot of storage space, so I'm not able to take full advantage of this as much as some people, even though I have the trade bars. So, bam, send that to myself. And the other things that you can buy in case you're in a situation like that is you can actually go down here to dyes, and you can buy three things in this category. You can buy dye remover, which is three trade bars, and typically sells for just over 3,000 diamonds. So you get about 1,000 diamonds per trade bar. The Nightmare Die Pack, that is also normally six trade bars, and generally sells for about a little over 6,000 diamonds. And you can also buy the Bottle of Black Die. Now, a Bottle of Black Die typically costs two trade bars and usually sells on the auction house for around 2,200 to 2,500 diamonds, roughly netting you after cost about a thousand diamonds per trade bar. Now, the good thing about buying dye, dye remover, things like that is it stacks. So you can just go ahead and keep stacking it up and stacking it up and stacking it up. The bad thing about it is you have to wait for it to sell on the trade house. The other bad thing about it is, well, you're going to have to deal with people undercutting you. And if people are undercutting you, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, in other words, you just won't be able to sell it as fast. So that is pros and cons of it. I personally like these nightmare orbs as long as I actually have inventory space for it. It is worth it to do the nightmare orbs. And then anything extra, I would say uh, do some dye, do some black dye, do some dye remover. And you should have your bases covered for pretty much the best possible outcome. 
Now, if you don't have the coupon and you don't have the sale when you're doing this, don't really worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. This is just icing on the cake, and that's why I chose to do the video right now, is to show pretty much the best pricing, the best possible discounts and setup that you could do. Not saying that you absolutely have to do it like this, and if you do not have the setup, then that's okay as well. This is just the go-to as far as what you want to do in order to turn those not useless, but not extremely useful trade bars into something more useful. And the reason why I say not extremely useful is because of the economy, you can look and a lot of people normally buy mounts. But it's like 1300 trade bars for an epic mount. And that would equate to 1.3 million. That's just not worth it. None of these mounts sell high enough for that. Not even the Whirlwind does or the Termish Lion. Um, artifacts, same thing. They're green and they're 1200 trade bars. That's nowhere near, you know, enough. That's 1.2 million. And actually, um, sorry, but mounts, mounts are more expensive than that. I was looking at the the 1300 price that's the my discounted price they're normally 2400 trade bars so 2.4 million not worth it granted pricing will vary depending upon console but i've tried everything here uh, fashion gear sometimes sells like the courtesan gear sometimes it will sell uh, but it usually doesn't sell for that much uh, the only one that i have ever seen sell for a marginal amount has been the wedding gear because it's super fancy but even at that it doesn't really sell that much because people can buy it all the time with their trade bars so just keep that in mind that most of the stuff here the companions all of this they're not really worth the price and trade bars that they're asking the only one that's even remotely worth it even remotely is possibly a fire archon that's like the most expensive one but because of the market crash it's not worth 800,000 so it would be pointless to get that that's why you just continue to go and you buy die or what I do I fill up as much of my inventory as possible with the weapons and then the rest of my inventory space I just use for die packs so Hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, go ahead and smash the like button, share the video with friends or guildmates, and of course, subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay frosty.